Welcome to China, folks. Americans now live in a country where the internet is regulated by the federal government. Our First Amendment guarantees every American citizen the right to free speech. In recent decades, the internet has been the primary free speech platform. Whether writing, blogging, or uploading video, the internet has been the only place where anyone can have a voice. In a 3-2 vote, FCC regulators have decided that what internet was missing was bureaucratic oversight. Former FCC Commissioner Harold Furchgottroth disagrees. The United States, after the past 20 years, priding itself on not regulating the internet, suddenly something has changed, and the American government has decided to regulate the internet. I don't believe there's any need for regulation, and all of these allegations about ISPs imposing charges on content companies is is really hypothetical. They can't point to actual examples. This is all regulation in the name of what might possibly happen in the future. Future. It's not addressing actual problems that we have today. It's not addressing actual complaints that are before the FCC. So, according to the former FCC commish, the regulations imposed address neither problems nor complaints. At best, this is a solution looking for a problem, which begs the question: Why? Whenever this administration makes a move, it lies about the reason for doing so, and usually has something very sinister going on behind the scenes. Net neutrality is being pushed under the guise of fairness, but where the government insinuates itself, prices go up and service go down. Fairness is very rarely achieved. We should now soon expect the same from our internet providers. Next, Obama is going to say, if you like your provider, you can keep your provider. Thanks for listening. Be sure to catch the weekly Ray Warner Show and subscribe on iTunes or at theraywarnershow.com.